Well, hey, y'all, thank you so much for taking the time to come over and visit with me. I'm Ron Fritz of Rochester's Heating and Air's YouTube channel. I'm Fritz Rochester. I'm a licensed Kentucky HVAC master contractor right here in Louisville, Kentucky. And, guys, I know it's been a minute, and it's a pleasure to to get to meet with y'all again. And uh, basically what we're doing, guys, we got a little service call on a home that uh, is up for sale. And uh, basically they've got a water leak on the floor is what the realtor said on their last uh, showing of the home. But uh, let's go over and take a peek, see what we got. All right, guys. We have reached your destination. Let's see if we can find a hidden unit here. All right, looks like we got a good one. Oh man, I hate it when they do this with the tree tree deal here. <clears throat> Don't look very dirty. She said they maintained it. But uh, we're here for a leak downstairs. I'm waiting on them to get here. Okay, guys, we're on this 13 sear uh, Goodman here, and I believe it's a two and a half ton. Uh, the initial call was uh, there was water on the floor when they were showing the house the other day. The realtor seen it, and uh, apparently they thought it was like you know the uh, the condensate line was backed up or stopped up, and you know to satisfy them, of course, I checked that first and ran some water down it and found it to uh, you know it, it wasn't clogged up or anything. But uh, upon uh, further investigation, just talking with them, they said, well, actually, the water was right where the, you know, uh, they, they were pointing out the, the Armaflex uh, on the, uh, on the uh, suction line here and uh, saying, well, that's where the water was at on the floor down there. So I thought, well, it's probably freezing back. And uh, they said they looked at it and wasn't frozen. But um, anyway, I said, well, there's a bunch of things that can cause that. And, you know, one of the first things that they do, I, I walk around, make sure anything wasn't dirty or, or whatnot. But uh, uh, I noticed the, uh, the line set. Uh, you can actually, I mean, I know that ain't, you know, totally technologically savvy, but I can actually grab these lines and tell, you know, if there's a problem. And, uh, you know, the uh, suction line was just about as warm as the, uh, as the liquid line here. Plus my split, I believe I had like a split of like six and I knew, oh, okay. So what I did was I came out here with my trusty uh, eye connect here. And um, what I did was I went in and hooked up and man, I am in a mess here. Guys, I've, I've got a tree stabbing me in the back, but you know, it is what it is. But anyway, uh, the uh, suction line, it was kind of, uh, you know, it was all nasty and everything. So I just took a scotch Bright, and it only takes a second to clean this up. And I cleaned up the liquid line itself, and I've got my probes attached, and I went in and got my refrigerant. Um, guys, I've already added a little bit. I wanted to show you before I, uh, before I went nuts and, and, and totally got it dialed in. But uh, anyway, guys, we've got a return air dry bulb of 80, a return air wet bulb of 70.6, a supplier dry bulb of 72, a supplier wet bulb of 66. Uh, our target superheat is 23. As you can see here, we're at 49. Before I added any gas to it, guys, I think it was like at 63 or something crazy. Um, all right, guys, it's looking like uh, 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 our split is 7.7, .7, and we know that's nowhere to be close. So, liquid uh, low pressure is 52. Uh, suction line temperature is 75. Uh, high pressure is uh, 202. Temperature is 101.9 or 102. And uh, looks like I said our superheat is 48. And we're shooting for a target of what was that again? Okay, our target's 23. So let's go ahead and get a little refrigerant in here. I'll do is I'll get this thing close and then I'll I'll show you uh, the final. All right, guys, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna let that stabilize for a bit, and I will get directly back to you. All right, guys. See, that's a good sign right there, guys. It was dry as a bone. 
looks like my uh, my superheat's dropping. We're almost inside our hash marks. Pretty awesome tool, guys. Pretty awesome tool. All right, guys. As soon as right. I got here, like I said, um, I checked the train. I, I basically checked the uh, the filter real quick, and I went ahead and you know they were saying it was the drain. So just uh, you know to got kind of give like an appeasement or whatever, I went ahead and I checked the drain, and I literally pour over four cups of uh, water down in it, and it seems to be draining well. Um, what it is is right right here where you see the suction line set. They actually said they were seeing water dripping right through here. So what it, what it was, I guess it was coming off the uh, the suction line or whatever. But uh, anyway, guys, uh, and check out this basement. Ain't this thing huge? Look at this. Love it, love it, love it. But uh, anyway, let me uh, finish up uh, wrapping up, cleaning up down here. And uh, like I said, here's my probes. I've got my iConnect probes and my uh, supply. And there's my return. But uh, let me get cleaned up here. All right, guys, that looks so much better. Look at that. But I'm getting ready to call it, guys. We're at 19.4 uh, uh, on our target superheat. Now, guys, you know, back in the day, you know, and I'm sure a lot of us still do it, uh, you know, you'd go down there and you'd get your, uh, get your wet bulb. But what's so great about having these probes in this system, the whole time I've been charging it, okay, you know, we have a different target superheat now. All right, and if, you, if not, you're gonna be running back and forth downstairs to get your wet bulb if you're gonna to totally dial the system in the way it is supposed to be dialed in, and that's what I love about my iConnect, guys. Um, as the temperatures, everything changes, um, I've actually got my, my superheat here. And uh, guys, I'm running at 23, 22. This is a fixed orifice system. I'm well within five, uh, plus or minus, so I'm gonna call it on that. Uh, our target suction pressure was 75. I kind of ran it a little bit high, but as you can see, I'm well within our uh, our hash marks here, our perimeters here, and we're running at 79. Uh, target high pressure was 237. I'm just gonna rifle through this real quick, guys. I gotta wrap this up. Our split has improved. Um, I think I had like a four, <laughs> a four before. And like I said, this is ancient equipment, so, you know, it is what it is. All right. All right, guys, like I said, I think I'm gonna call it. I'm well within the perimeters of our our uh, superheat here. Our target's 19, we're at 22. All right, guys, thank you so very much. Let me wrap this stuff up.